Hello, Scorpios. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for being here, uh, for sharing your time and your energy. I know how valuable that is, so thank you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to look around. My uh, videos are done timeless, so if you are drawn to them, it's the perfect time to watch them. Uh, please do take a moment and like, share, subscribe. Um, it helps me help you. And um, I do offer personal readings, so information to contact me is in the description box below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Oh, candle's done. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, use your own wisdom and discernment to place the energies where and if they need to be. And please, not only with my channel, but any tarot reading channel, never force the energies to try and fit. It will only drive you crazy. Alright, Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me top card for overall Scorpio message. Top card for scope. Scorpios in love. Scorpios, I tried to say. Scorpios. It's early. I need more coffee. <laughs> Scorpios in love. Show me clearly. Top card, please. All right. Uh, we have romance, okay? It says, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Yeah, somebody's wanting a little romance here. Um, or this is you, again. Wisdom and discernment here. Um, yeah, there is a lot of deep emotions here that uh, you are going through. This is kind of challenging, It's, but in a good way. I think this is pushing you to grow, Scorpios. All right, Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. Show me clearly. And I'm hearing Van Halen. <laughs> um... What is that song? Uh, girl, you really got me now. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Yeah, so. All right. Um, let's go ahead and see. Um, okay, keeping an open mind peeked out there. Let me ask my question. All right, Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guide, and Angel, show me clearly Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. Show me Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. All right, we have pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> All right, it's like you... Um, are just being able to see things clearly now and it says that the signs are cautioning you at the bottom of the deck we have reconciliation okay so uh, someone from your past is returning to your life okay that's for some of you we are in retrograde so it's the perfect time for all this stuff to happen and that but pay attention to the red flags there's something that you're learning here you're beginning to kindly um kindly <laughs> maybe um yeah if you can see these are old cards so the that spirit in the corner trying to get you to see something like pull back the veil let let's let's look at this scorpio let's look at this for what it is what it was what it will be all right show me scorpio's person of interest energies towards scorpio person of interest energies towards scorpio all right, thank you. 
Okay, <laughs> I was at the bottom of the deck and now it came out. After shuffling and everything, reconciliation says someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, and it says keep an open mind and express your love, but we do have unrequited love. So this could be after some form of a breakup separation this could be physical separation this could be emotional separation okay um but yeah somebody needs to talk about something here express your love and keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations <clears throat> all right heavenly father spirit guides and angels show me clearly scorpio in love now, folks, this is my Love and Lust deck, okay, by Fire uh, Witch Tarot. It is adult content, so I'm letting you know now in case you are easily offended. All right. Show me Scorpio in love. Right, Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. Okay, we got two cards. All right, so the first one that comes out is... Um, Flashbacks of our passionate adventures keeps me frozen in time. The aftermath left me in a sensual daze. Okay, so, um, yeah, this definitely is some form of a separation here. Somebody that is still on your mind, reminiscing the good times, things like that. The second card to come out. All right, it says that your kiss was like a love potion, a ritual I volunteered for. I want more of it, of you, of us. You are my personal love spell I want to be in forever. So yeah, you definitely are still having this person on your mind. Again, remembering the good times. Um, all right, here at the bottom of the deck, you both crave sexual playtime, a quick pick-me-up, an erotic adrenaline, a rush okay um yeah there was strong attraction here it, it was uh starting out pretty sexual okay just being honest here and um yeah you're remembering this person but pay attention to the red flags there's something that was hidden from you that you didn't see that now you are starting to see all right beginning to lift that veil and seeing what's up here all right, show me person of interest energies towards Scorpio. Definitely getting a very passionate vibe, okay? But there is something here, something maybe you refused to see in the past, and they're trying to get you to see it now, okay? It's like you're awakening to this. Actually, I don't need to do that. <laughs> show me person of interest energies towards Scorpio. All right. It says here that I can't get out of my head about you. The pain of not knowing where we stand eats at me every second of the day. So, yeah, maybe this was uh, somebody that, you know, um, attempted communication here, tried to find out, like, what was up, where, what's happening, where do we stand, what's going on, you know, if there's a problem, let's fix this, okay? And the other card is, it thrills you to be tied up to be taken advantage of to experience new sensations to discover your personal ecstasy okay so i guess that this person was trying to find out what it was that they wanted there was more to this here um you had this person all tied up okay all tied up in emotions feelings things like that could have been physically who knows <laughs> kinky little devils <laughs> um 
And then uh, at the bottom of the deck here, it says that um, I let my pride get in the way of my love for you and acted like it was nothing, but really my heart was breaking and I did nothing to stop it. Okay. Um, now, this could be you, could be them. Let's see. Show me one more card, please for the connection. Yeah, this person maybe felt a little taken advantage of. Okay. Alright, the card that came out for the connection is that this card is here to tell you that you've been holding back in love. You're hiding your feelings from someone. Is it that you are afraid of love? Are you afraid of the wrong reaction? The time has come to put fear aside and reveal your true emotions. Again, there's a lot of passion hidden here. Okay? And it says here that I know this love that we have isn't just ordinary. It's unique in its own mysterious way. So yeah, there is a very tight connection here. That is undeniable, Scorpios. But um, it's like you are just seeing this now for the first time. Uh, bottom of the deck. Looks like somebody pretty loyal here. I will always come through when you need me. Right by your side I will be. When you need your space I give. When you want to be free I fly. And when you're ready to settle I'll be right next to you. I'm your ride or die chick. No one can replace me. Okay, so maybe there's... Um, still a tight hold here energetically. I'm going to set this here. Still a tight hold energetically. Somebody's not wanting to let go. Um, and that here because again this connection was pretty solid. Okay. There was just something that uh, was not being seen. Um this person does still think about you. How they think about you, not really sure. They did feel taken advantage of and um, kind of all tied up. So let's go ahead and see if we find out some more here. Show me Scorpio in love. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Show me Scorpio in love. Yeah, definitely thinking about this person still with the magician at the bottom of the deck. Um, show me uh, Scorpio's energies towards person of interest. Show me three cards, please, for Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. Okay, we have the chariot. Okay, taking action, moving forward, finding balance. Okay, uh, moving towards a victory. All right, the challenge here is that this person is still on your mind. Six of Cups. There again was a very tight connection here. There's things that you are beginning to see now. Um, this is uh, lessons from the past, learning what you liked, what you didn't like. Okay, um, yeah, there's the three of coin at the bottom of the deck. And it's like, um, you know, coming together, there was, there was a partnership. There was something that was being created here. Um, there was loyalty. This person um, was... Uh, this is you or your person take it how it resonates but this person was like your ride or die you know and no one can replace me um and i think you're kind of beginning to see that um let's go ahead give me one more please energies towards person of interest yeah okay wanting to start over a brand new beginning okay uh four of wands but um, <clears throat> there's been some stagnancy here. 
um, there's been uh, some awakenings again spirit has held things up kept you tied up all right feeling um, stuck okay but um, they've been enlightening you it's like let these emotions rush to your head so you can you know it's my it's it's heart over mind you know and so let the blood let you know that comes from the heart all right let that rush to your head and think think about that for a little bit okay and in divine time that balance is coming here that awakening is coming and that's what I feel that you are getting here um, because somebody walked away so Somebody that brought you happiness they walked away towards their happiness okay the eight to the nine all right Heavenly Father spirit guides and angels show me person of interest energies towards Scorpio in love person of interest energies towards Scorpio in love Person of interest energies towards Scorpio and love. Show me clearly. All right, the first card is the Five of Cups. Yeah, this was very heartbreaking. This was very difficult. There was a lot of depression here. Um, this person um, felt kind of like um, maybe like you were trying to drag them down in emotions. Um, yeah it made them difficult to really it made it really difficult for them to see the connection here to see that they could move forward they felt almost as if you were drowning you know and um yeah like you were drowning and they couldn't help they they couldn't help they had to to turn away they couldn't drown too uh it's an energy of like saving themselves here um yeah because they wanted this happiness there was so much heartbreak here okay show me clearly person of interest energies towards scorpio yeah they they needed their happiness uh um the nine of cups is also um looking like everything's fine on the outside but this is what was going on on the inside everybody saw this as good they saw this person is happy but really there was a lot of depression here okay over this connection over what they felt was their happily ever after their divine connection soulmate they felt like this there there was just so much love here and um yeah let me see yeah okay <laughs> got an extra one here yeah this person um bossed up okay emperor energy they bossed up they started doing what was right for them to feel victorious feel successful to do what was best um yeah to the what brought justice and what brought them happiness and emotional fulfillment here this person on the outside looked really good but yet on the inside they were not not good all right show me clearly heavenly father spirit guides and angels what actions are is scorpio going to take towards person of interest regarding love what actions are they going to take yeah this person here with all these ten of cups that we've seen and how everything was looking and that uh and this card popping out first um would the rider die and all that this this person was really trying 
was really trying and they felt taken advantage of. This is you or them. This is supposed to be your side. This is supposed to be their side. However, it can be reversed, but we'll see. Yeah, there was a special love here. They were holding on to this. Okay. So there's your card right there, the death card. There was an ending for a new beginning. Now look at this card, Scorpios. Okay, somebody is wearing a mask here. There's true love. Somebody really never expressed it. Um, those crows have jewels taken, uh, you know, hanging in their mouth, and it's like, again, taking advantage of. It's like you were you were pulling something from this person. You were hiding how you truly felt, um, who you truly were, and um, taking things from this person, and ending for a new beginning here. Okay, or you felt that this person was doing that to you. Take it how it resonates. But you, um, again, the hanging man, okay, stagnant energy, feeling stuck, all tied up. This person entangled you, and spirit is enlightening you here. Um, there's a lot of drama right now with the Five of Wands. A lot of drama, a lot of arguing, um, feeling like you can't really talk to this person. Okay, Wands, communication, actions here. But in divine time, that balance, that peace is coming. Okay, that peace is coming. Somebody is going to release this and walk away to find their own happiness. They're getting clarity to the situation. Show me clearly person of interest, actions towards Scorpio. Actions towards Scorpio. Show me clearly. The Tower. Okay. Knocking people away. A huge aha moment. Like spirit. Like, you know, wake up here. Smell the coffee. Okay. This person has done soul searching here. And spirit is leading them out of the darkness. Okay, yeah, soul searching. And we have the Ten of Coins here. Um, this person is looking for long-term commitment here. Um, learning new things. This, uh, you know, it's like you can teach an old dog new tricks, okay? Um, they're learning new things. Soul searching. Finding their happiness. Uh, surrounding themselves with family and friends. Really focusing on that. <coughs> yeah, getting in touch <coughs> more so with spirit and that being guided towards the lovers card here all right really going inward here with the queen of pentacles and healing themselves okay what actions are they taking towards scorpio yeah this this is um Yeah, the Hierophant. There's they're they're soul searching. They're they're focusing on spirit, seeing where this guides them, committed to finding their wish fulfillment here, finding their emotional stability and true love. They're taking action for a whole new world after feeling abandoned and left in the cold here. All right, feeling lacking. They're holding on to hope there. You know, this little light of mine, okay, they're not releasing that, okay? They've been through a lot, and they're a little gun-shy now, and it's like uh, they're checking to see if it's okay to take that step forward. All right, show me possible outcome for Scorpio with person of interest.
possible outcome with person of interest. Show me possible outcome. Okay, we have Ace of Cups, getting that emotional fulfillment. Um, the Seven of Coins, after some time here. After some time, this is waiting. All right, the opportunity is here and you're waiting. And it's like, yes, this is what I have been waiting for. Okay. Um, yeah, a Queen of Cups. All right, somebody very intuitive here. Uh, very loving, caring, nurturing. Yeah, okay. And this person is being strategic not to be hurt again. Okay. Got a lot of sevens here. So check that out. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. They're taking action here is, is what you're doing. There's there's um, a little bit of sneakiness here, but it's, it's really more so being strategic, not wanting to be hurt again. All right, you're getting some clarity, uh, really watching this person, wanting to discuss finances, um, discuss commitment here, taking action towards that. Um, it's You're very defensive, okay? Show me clearly, Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guiding Angels, person of interest, possible outcome with Scorpio. Possible outcome with Scorpio. Yeah, there's, um, for some of you Scorpios, there's some sneakiness going on here. There is some sneakiness, some deception happening here, but the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out, um, uh, again, spying energy, watching everything. Checking out social medias, things like that, following their their YouTube channels even. Alright, show me possible outcome. Person of interest, possible outcome with Scorpio. Yeah, the four of cups. It's like, eh, I don't know. Not the, yeah, when uh, in discussing commitments here, all right, they're taking action and quick to cut out um, whatever gets in their way, King of Swords energy, all right, but um, yeah, there is an offer here, people uh, feeling left out in the cold, again, this, this person is holding on to that, that feeling of abandonment, all right. So we have the high priestess. Yeah, there's there is more to still be found out. This person uh, knows that there is more happening here. Maybe they caught on to those of you who are being um, conniving is the word that comes to mind. Okay. Yeah, seven of coins. They they. They're working on this happiness, and they too, very defensive here. Yeah, very guarded, and it's like spirit is guarding them too. Like, you know, do you see what's going on? Do you see what's going on? Okay, yeah, there is some treachery here. All right, they felt uh, abused, and that someone lording over them, and they were tired of the things said towards them. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Move these out of the way. Yeah, this just popped out at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, somebody is wishing and hoping, praying for that cup to come back. Okay. Realizing what was there. Show me clearly, Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Show me Scorpio's energy 
towards person of interest. Scorpio's energy towards person of interest. Three cards, please. Okay, so again, that uh, reminiscing here, that uh, thinking of them, all right, uh, looking at your photographs, miss missing you, again, thinking of the good times, okay, but making new memories, Want you know, uh, there's engagement here, all right, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, all right, so this definitely was a relationship, this could be, um, this could be separation, divorce, things like that. Um, but yeah, this, there was commitment here. And then um, we have clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So um, yeah, you're getting clarity to the truth of the situation. And it's going to take some time. You're going to need some time. Time to heal, to progress. Okay, your heart is healing. Okay, healing from heartache, freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction. Okay, and then we have the chaser here. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. All right, so um, yeah, there's like clarity to the truth that this this should have been protected more. All right. A revelation this 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 should have been protected more is what I'm getting with that you're looking back and realizing the commitment that you had all right again you know we got these cards here you know the ride or die you're realizing this person had your best interest they tried to communicate but there was it, it was leading them down a hole that they didn't want to go. They felt um, taken advantage of, all tied up, stuck here. Um, and they moved forward to their happiness. They're trying to find that. This person is uh, pretty intuitive, becoming aware and taking new opportunities that are here. They're not sure if they want to go back. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Show me clearly. Person of interest energies towards Scorpio. How do you feel about Scorpio? Three cards, please. Okay, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, epiphany. Okay, transformation. Energies towards Scorpio. Yeah, making healthy choices. Okay, in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Again, this person, um, they tried to hide it, how they were feeling. Somebody uh, also, you know, uh, could have been very controlling. Emperor can be controlling, and this person needed to be recognized. They, they saw what was going on, too, for some of you, because then this person just finally blew up. And started knocking people off their tower and out of their life okay they were not some damsel in distress here like Rapunzel um, they they blew their fire up and um, yeah people started falling away their their passion ignited there um, and they began to fight for themselves is what I'm getting they did the soul search and even after a long time Okay, with some form of commitment here.
person of interest energies towards Scorpio. Show me clearly. Yeah, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. And then paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay, so yeah, this person remembers the good time too, but this is separation. All right. This is sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. This person does recognize the connection that was here. Okay, um, they do. They they were in love. They they this was very very tight connection um, for both of you. <clears throat> okay, and they it looks like they they tried. Um, not saying that you didn't, but it kind of looks like maybe you you didn't something something's here okay something's here held back mysterious on your side all right very mysterious on your side show me clearly what is the hidden truth in this situation for Scorpio in love? Show me the hidden truth for Scorpio in love. Yeah, here with the High Priestess, this is, um, I mean, the High Priestess here is very intuitive, um, very gifted, and, uh, you know, holds, holds the book of knowledge. They're reading this book and finding things out. Again, a veil, you know, she's kind of holding that veil like a veil was lifted. Things were found out here. Um, this is also the keeper of secrets, too. Not letting, uh, I don't think there's communication. This person is going for a new commitment here. All right, they're going for their new Ace of Pentacles unsure if they want this but it's she's partly kind of covering her mouth she's not she's not speaking of it and I think this is part of what bugs you down here is this this not knowing what this person is doing show me Scorpio's hidden truth they would like to tell person of interest what's the hidden truth Scorpio would like to tell person of interest I need security. Uh, I'm waiting patiently. I can't get enough of you. I still have feelings for you. Yeah, you're you're trying to figure out. You want to know what's going on over here. <clears throat> what is Scorpio's hidden truth? They'd like to tell person of interest. Yeah, I still have feelings for you. Okay. I daydream about a life with you. I would do it all again. I have too much to lose. Uh, hence the security here. Hidden truth Scorpio would like to tell person of interest. I want to make amends. I saved your texts and messages. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. I know you don't feel the same. All right, let's see here. Yeah, Scorpio, you're definitely still attached, still thinking of this person here. But really, that pay attention to the red flags. This being the starting card with this seven of swords here. Um, trickery, deception, things like that. It's like, you know, 
<coughs> You're trying to hide something from this person that they already know. They're just not letting you know they know. It could have something to do with money, hiding things, stuff like that. That's for some of you, for sure. Hmm, okay. Show me clearly. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides and Angels. What's the hidden truth? person of interest would like to tell Scorpio what's the hidden truth person of interest would like to tell Scorpio all right I don't know what you want okay I feel the sexual tension again there was a lot of chemistry here all right this person can uh, feel the energies okay you're watching all that kind of stuff they don't know what you want here this person is recovering they miss being with you too um and that they miss those times too but this person uh again is recovering all right this person was pretty much traumatized with the five of cups and the tower traumatized emotionally enough to move away here the way they were they they caught on to things that you were doing games that were being played i'm feeling this uh connection affected this person's mental status yeah i can't do this all right we don't share the same values they miss talking to you they miss hearing you know uh hearing your voice and they felt very happy with you um and i think that's why this was so emotionally shocking here and that this person had to to realize that feelings were not the same not in a healthy way not in a healthy way this person was um yeah had to make healthy choices to love themselves to care for themselves and to be happier this person was very unhappy and something shocking okay uh some form of uh you know communication maybe harsh words spoken um there was an epiphany like oh my god i get it i i get it now this this will not work for me even after all this time this will not work for me okay and so they started talking with someone okay friends they might have even been in counseling or something realizing that um they needed to move on they needed to have fun in their life yeah and now they could be moving on with someone new show me um let's see this deck here show me this relationship tell me a little bit more about this relationship in love between Scorpio and person of interest relationship for Scorpio and person of interest how did this go what went on here somebody found out something an error with communication um there was clarity here and this brought about a lot of sadness here 
something changed. This person's holding on to a skull representing uh, death, okay? Scorpio energy that like watching this person was holding on and not looking too happy and you were just watching. Almost like uh, tucking, I'm getting the energy, tucking this person away, isolating. Some of you uh, were pretty narcissistic. Not all of you. Yeah, Six of Wands and the Lovers. Okay? The Lovers card here. Yeah, watching, watching this. Somebody found out something here. An ultimatum was finally given. For some of you, um, with this card, it's it looks like outside influence here. Okay, this could be a mother. Yeah, because I see the connection over here. All right, you saw this person as everything. Uh, your angel, male, female, however that role flips for you. And somebody outside influence, sending bad vibes, talking negatively. Oh, well, you know what they're doing. You know what's going on. It's this, it's this. They're throwing their influence into the situation. And spirit is so saddened by this. This connection was very strong. Look at spirits holding their heart back here. They're watching this happen. And you're not seeing. You're not. Somebody's not seeing this. Okay. And then somebody transformed for a victory. Okay. Proving. Proving that they're not what this person was saying not what this person was casting onto them i'm really getting a uh, strong feminine energy here something like a, a mother an older sibling an aunt something like that that was interfering with this happy couple this lover's couple this soulmate couple interfering throwing casting uh, almost like spell casting you can see that there at the end of her hand and somebody was given like an ultimatum yeah and soul or, or spirit is is so saddened here just watching this happen and somebody went and moved on and transformed to find their victory all right and then somebody was very pissed off felt defeated tried painting a picture you know that uh, was not true tried painting a picture that was not true look at that those those flowers aren't red they were painting those red Get out of your delusion is what I'm getting, you know. Get out of your, your daydream, Alice. <laughs> Didn't she have to do that under under the oh under the work of the Queen of Hearts? Under the work of the the Queen of Hearts. Somebody somebody uh yeah. This person here, ah, this person here, sorry, I'm looking in the computer, it's backwards for me, that's why I'm kind of all over. Uh, 
yeah, this person here was like spell casting, you know, and just you not even they you don't have to be a witch or some voodoo person to spell cast, okay? Words. Words spoken are spell cast. That's why they call it spelling, okay? Words are incredibly powerful. Somebody was throwing harsh words onto this relationship. Breaking spirit's heart, the divine's heart. All right? This was this this was a gift brought to this person and some outside influence here really screwed it up with with their words with because there's ultimatum with the ultimatum here somebody was painting look at that look at that I mean there was true love here there was true love here in the background, but somebody was like, no, no, paint the flowers red. Paint the flowers red. Oh, this really worked out really freaking good for me, didn't it? And somebody went and bloomed, transformed, went for their victory. Six of Wands. Yeah, they detached. See ya. Spirit is guiding me to get the hell out of here. All right, and this brought about a bunch of drama. Get, let me get out of the drama. Again, this person is sitting in the center just watching these two haggle back and forth. And it's like, you need to listen to me. And this person's in disbelief. Like, seriously? You're, you're going to listen to this? Oh, but come on, Mom. No, I said this. Some somebody was incredibly toxic from the outside and somebody made a destined choice. That's what happened here. All right. Um, you know, take it how it resonates. That's what I see happening here and um yeah, spirit was just very sad. This was something that was very good. Um, but this person here Scorpio was scorned and hurt so bad by this. Okay, they're going in a row here. You just saw me pick them up. They were so depressed, so miserable, felt as though they were being dragged down to a slow death. Okay, that they fought back. There was an explosion and, you know, spirit enlightened them and they blew up and they're like, the, they got the clarity, the aha, and they came out fighting, okay? They were cornered up here, and this person came out fighting and started knocking people out of their lives, all right? Getting away from this depression, and now, you know, this little cup in the back window is being offered here, and this person's got their back turned like, yeah, no, I'm busy. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. I know what's up. I know what's up and I don't need to talk about it anymore. It's a done deal. I have new opportunities. Okay? And you're headed in a right direction too. That You could also, because we do have spying, you could be watching this person. Okay? Because the Queen of Cups is someone. Here, let's do this. You could be watching this person for some time getting their emotional fulfillment. Seeing them blow up, glow up, do their thing. You've been watching them for a long time here. All right. And um, you see them just blooming, trusting themselves more, loving themselves more. And now you're a little bitter here, being very strategic, being very deceptive. Because you're looking back at this person here. Okay, looking back at this person here. Now, for the other parts of you Leos, or excuse me, Leos, maybe you're dealing with a Leo. The other part for you Scorpios is that you're there's an opportunity here for you in the near future. There is an opportunity here for you after some time. Again, finally getting what I want. Finally getting what I want. Okay? Someone who is very loving, very nurturing, you know, maybe you're starting to love yourself. The Queen of Cups, water energy. That's you. Okay. 
Um, I don't see somebody coming in, but this is uh, loving yourself and being very strategic. Collecting those thoughts. Paying attention to this red flag. These red flags, these things that you are beginning to see clearly now. That Spirit was trying to get you to see in the beginning. Okay, they're removing the veil. And there's books here. You've learned something. You've learned something and that and you're working on not catching those again, not to feel pain again. So Scorpios, this is what I have for you. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates um, and brings you food for thought. Please do um, like, share, subscribe if any of this does resonate with you. Um, again, you know, it helps me help you. And um, Scorpios, we'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.